One of the earliest types of reconnaissance and spotting aircraft, the Parnell Panther, a first world war machine that served well in the development of carrier techniques. Practically the whole of the early carrier experience was gained from it. A later version was made with a fuselage that could be folded back to conserve hangar space, the usual method being to fold the wings. It was a two-seater plane equipped with a 200 horsepower BR2 rotary engine and which gave it a top speed of 122 miles per hour. At its ceiling of 10,000 feet, this was reduced to 111 miles per hour. Another Parnell product, the Plover. This single-seat fighter was built for ship or land use with special attention given for its use on carriers. It had a very low landing speed and good control throughout its speed range. This is the amphibian version doing trials on Eagle in 1924. Another good feature was the easy interchangeability of many parts. For instance, it could be fitted with either a Sidley, Jaguar or Bristol Jupiter engine, the changes being rapidly made by the removal of four pins and the whole fairing could be stripped in little more than 30 seconds. This small float plane, the Parnell Pito, was designed to be carried and used by the submarine M2. At this time, it was the Admiralty's policy to equip all possible vessels with catapults and aircraft for reconnaissance. These trials were reasonably successful, but no other submarines were similarly equipped, and the M2 was eventually lost through a failure of the hangar doors when submerging.